keeps um, weather alert radios and stuff on. I have um, two weather alert radios in the house and one in the garage. And uh, I got it full volume. And sometimes they're annoying because if we get thunderstorms, you know, so we get thunderstorms that go off. But it's, uh, you know, it doesn't take much. Uh, but there was a tornado to touch down not too far from here. But uh, hitting an open land. But uh, that's uh, that's the problem. But I have a weather station here, and it's pretty good. I can I can almost predict what's going to happen because there's certain parameters that I look for. So um, when I when I see those, I start to really start paying attention to the uh, local weather over. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. That's uh, good that uh, nothing happens at your place. And uh, lucky you don't have a beam up. <laughs> So we'll send it back over to uh, Dave. Uh, over to you, Dave. Okay, Jay, Jay, pick it up there. Box, Shanky, Box. Yeah, Kilo Charlie 1, Fox, Shanky, Fox. You know, Dave, you keep turning your beam over towards Europe and talking to these stations that the rest of us really can't hear. And, you know, you got three stations that tried to check in with us and you lost them because you're spending more time talking to them and you know it's like you're having a one-sided conversation because they're not listening to you yeah i, I, I know it, uh, i'm trying to give everybody an equal chance in europe uh, it's far and more important for these people to speak to you guys over there than, than me to speak to you i could speak to you any time day and night but I, I thought you might want to put a few extra call signs for people in Europe uh, or from the east of me in your book. It would be nice if we could hear them. Well, I, I, I don't know if you can hear them or not until I've asked them to call you. Yeah, but you ask them to call and then they sit there and they don't call. And you ask them to call again and they still don't call. And you're answering back and forth about who's going to call who. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how to handle that. What should I do, Jerry? V A three J L. Oh, you just gotta keep trying. You know, Jerry's got some really good ears there, and uh, you, you almost made it with him. You know, uh, uh, Jerry. Um, it was very, very close. Uh, I know he turned the power up uh, um, to 120 watts from 80 watts, but. Um, yeah, you, you were quite a few of them anyway, Jerry, so I, 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 just like, I just like to give everybody opportunities, not for me, to stop people from trying to, <laughs> Jay. Well, I think you should give them three shots. If they don't get it in three shots, then that's it. It's a no call. The big problem is, and this is what happened with the stations that just left, for some reason or other, the newcomers to amateur radio think they've got to talk and talk and talk and talk, and they don't say anything, and they pay no attention to how many people are on the frequency and how many are leaving while they're talking. You know, they, they put the hammer down, and for some reason or other, they just got to keep, you know, they give a long speech for no good reason, Jay. Oh, I understand that completely. I understand that completely. All right. I'm doing the best I can. Don't shoot the messenger. Michael, Michael. Uh, uh, you still don't know Michael's gone. Uh, uh, Don, Don, you back Whiskey Zulu H Sierra. Last call, Michael. Uh, Don? I'm going to sign him out. Um, uh, back at you, I guess. Uh, Kilo 2 could call you, Papa. Yeah, I uh, I don't hear anybody from Europe, uh, but, uh, you know, I have a compromised antenna, so... Uh, I just uh, come back to the people that I can hear, um, but it's uh, it's okay to to listen in and, uh, <laughs> and see what's going on. But yeah, I think you do a good job, Dave. Uh, so go ahead, pass it around. Yeah, well, if only the people that would call in would make a note to the people they can hear and he and then call those people straight away. But they don't seem to want to make a, a list of who's on here, and they don't know who's on here. When I hand the microphone to them, they don't know who's here to call. Mm, it's it's quite strange that they don't make a list. If people were just to make a list of the people they can hear, rather than try and call the people they can't hear. Uh, well, good. Well, mark, mark, mark again. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, I don't take it too, uh, too personal. But, you know, you do what you can do. You do the best you can do. Yeah, the band conditions have really been quiet. I don't know if anyone noticed. I was on this afternoon for a little bit on the 
both 40 and 20 meters, and it was absolutely an S0 noise level. I was watching it, the, uh, the scope across the band, and um, I could pick out maybe three or four stations. Just amazing. And I worked a fellow who was working uh, one watt out of Oklahoma, and I would have probably never heard him if there was any kind of noise floor, but um, it's really, uh, really weird. But um, the conditions are a little crazy. So, uh, back over to you there, Jay. Let me turn up to Jay's way and see how, uh, if he, any, maybe he can check if there's anyone else who wants to come in. W2UFO, okay, Jay? Go ahead, Jay. Yeah, Kilo Charlie One, Fox, Yankee Fox. Uh, yeah, the band's in really good condition right now. We got really good numbers for the uh, for the solar forecast, and uh, so uh, yeah, today, today, or or tonight actually is, is especially good. What do you see for a K index number? Okay, I'm not looking at it right now, but earlier, uh, about 8 o'clock my time, was uh, 6. You know, you know, I'm trying to figure out on this ham clock I have, because Joe says he can do it, how to pick up the, the K index. I can see all the other ones, but I can't seem to get the K index. I, um, I see other numbers. Like, I can see what they call, it's a K sub P. And I, I thought originally that was the K index, but that's reading 1.7. Seems low. Yeah, that's that's a good number. That's a good number. Yeah, excuse me. The A index is a six. The A index is your most important one. When your A index gets gets up to about 20, 30, 40, you've got bad conditions. That indicates usually uh, a solar storm. Geomagnetic storm, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I can observe those numbers on this other screen here. Because then I can see what's going on. Because right now I'm looking at the solar flux, which is 336, and the sunspot cycle, which is 326, and the K sub P is 1.7. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to, I can, how to read the A index, but it's another one of these uh, gadgets that I have to uh, figure out what the heck is going on over. Yeah, Roger that, Roger that. Well, good, good for the high, high, high sunspots and and that uh, solar flux index is great when it's high like that because when you got all the other conditions that are lining up like they are, we have good, uh, good band conditions. Yeah, well, the way I look at it is, if I can hear you, the band conditions are good. If I can't, they're not good. What do you think about that, Jovian? Well, Whiskey One, Mike, Bravo, Bravo. If you say so, Mark, I will And another time, so uh, Mike, to argue with Morning, Mike. Where you been, Mike? Take a seat, Mike. What's your name? Uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, uh, as the case may be, uh, J.O., and I'll say hello to Mark, W2UFO, W1MBB. Yeah, okay. And it was just somebody that jumped in with a contact. We'll get to him in a second. I'm doing good. Had plenty of rain here today, about four inches of rain in a period of about six or seven hours. And um, the remnants of that uh, hurricane. But uh, it was enough to... Uh, I'm glad I cut the grass yesterday because right now I think in the backyard I'm about ready to put a canoe in. Yeah, Roger. Oh, contact. That must be a Charlie Oscar, maybe a Cuban station there. Um, uh, let's uh, let me say hello to to uh, Jay, uh, Kilo Charlie One Fox Yankee Fox, uh, Amateur Radio Whiskey One Mike Bravo Bravo. Yeah, Whiskey One Mike Bravo Bravo from Kilo Charlie One Fox Yankee Fox. You're a 5'9 plus, Matt. Thank you, also a 5'9 plus. With that, I'll put it back to the J.O. And J.O., you have a uh, contact there. Well, somebody said they heard him. I didn't hear him. Who's the, who's the station with contact? Contact, Ed. 
Yeah, Dave, Dave, this is uh, Whiskey 5, Delta Fox Charlie. Good to hear you. It's been a while, over.